Good afternoon and welcome to KLE 43 News Studio. My name is Elizabeth Johnson and today we will be discussing the topic Apert Syndrome. Apert Syndrome is a genetic disorder which is characterized by the premature fusion of certain skull bones. A genetic disorder is a disease when there is an abnormality in one's DNA. The abnormality can range from being as small as a single base mutation in a gene or it can be as large as a gene as the addition and subtraction of chromosomes. The symptoms are easy to recognize even though it is a very rare disease. Here's my colleague Savannah Smiles with specialist Jade Smith. Thanks Elizabeth. We are here with Jade today to discuss Apert syndrome. So my first question is who discovered Apert syndrome? Eugene Apert, a French physician, discovered this genetic disorder. Oh, so what are the symptoms? I know that there's webbed feet, webbed hands, and a misshapen head or skull. The symptoms of Apert syndrome are, like you said, webbed feet, webbed hands, and misshapen head and skull. But also hearing loss, heavy sweating, known as hypohydrosis, oily skin with severe acne, especially during puberty, patches of missing hair on the eyebrows, the fusion of spinal cords in the neck, which is a cervical vertebrae, and recurrent ear infections that may be associated with the opening in the roof of the mouth, a cleft palate. So tell me, how common is Apert syndrome? Well, one in every 65 to 88,000 newborns worldwide are diagnosed. Wow, that's not common at all. So, I did a little research before the show and I found out this is really interesting. Really? What did you find? There are a lot of interesting facts. Did you know that Apert syndrome has no cure and people usually get surgery to correct the connections between bones? Also, people get mid-face surgery and skull surgery. The most common type of mid-face surgery is Leffert 3 operation. It moves the mid-face bones forward. Yes, that's true. It says here that Apert syndrome is caused by a mutation on the gene FGFR2. A parent does not need this to have the affected gene to pass down to their child. That is also true. Here is a chart of how Apert syndrome is passed on when one parent is affected. When Apert is passed down by a parent, it usually only affects the skull, midface, hands, and feet. There is a 50% chance of passing down the disorder, and males and females are equally affected. Correct. Wow, have you been studying? Ha, huh, just a little. I also know the diagnosis of this condition. It is a very long process. First, the doctor will examine your skull carefully. The shape will help tell the doctor whether any structures have fused. Computed tomography, CT imaging, can also give the doctor more information. A CT scan is an x-ray procedure that takes a computer-enhanced cross-sectional view of the body. Your facial features determine whether you have Apert syndrome or another condition. You may need x-rays of your spine, arms, hands, and legs to confirm the diagnosis. Your doctor may also recommend genetic tests that show whether you have a mutation that causes Apert syndrome. Did you know that since the plates in their skull are fused together, normal brain growth is restricted? No. How is it possible for children to grow up without normal brain growth? Well, children are affected both emotionally and physically. They have short-term memory and struggle with learning, especially in arithmetic. Children also have poor intellectual development. However, there are some surgeries that can help but not completely fix their skull and brain growth. Wow, that must be hard. Yes, I would think so. There are many amazing stories about kids growing up with Apert syndrome. Although it's hard, these kids have lived their childhood, childhood like this, and I've usually made it to the end. Fascinating. Wait, so how long do people with Apert syndrome usually live? The lifespan of someone with this condition varies. If they have survived their past childhood and have no heart problems, they're expected to have a normal lifespan. Now, all people with Apert are expected to live a longer life than in the past. This is because of surgical techniques and follow-up care. Wow, it's great how we are advancing in surgical techniques. Definitely. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. Now back to Elizabeth in the newsroom. Welcome back. I hope you found Apert syndrome as interesting as I did. It is sad to think that those innocent children had to live their lives like that, 
but they tough it out though. Those brave kids. As Savannah said earlier, earlier, there's no cure for this disorder. Only surgery can help. I hope you learned a lot this evening. For, this is from KLE 43 News Studio crew, and that's a wrap. Right.